And welcome to this rendition of Simon's Puzzles. Today I'll be focusing on towers. So how do you play towers? What do the numbers mean? So four, that means you can see four towers. You can't have the same tower in uh, a row or a column. So they'll, so they'll always be a different number. And so, so four sees four towers. He sees it like a height. None of the towers are blocking each other as opposed to one. All one sees is four. It's the only tower. So since we can't have any of the copies in the same row or column, we're gonna go ahead and block them all out. Three, it doesn't like the number three because it blocks out uh, additional towers. So we know that three never has a three in front of it. All right, so I just filled in that column for the fours. Now we'll look at the two. Um, oh yeah, let's also fill in the columns for the four, three, two, one at the bottom. Three can't be in this column, two can't be in this column, and one can't be in the right column. All right. So we have these four squares left for four. This one could be four in this one, or this one in this one. Since the two is right here, it makes sense that this one could be four. And since the three is right there on the left, this one could also be four. But that's just guessing and checking. So we'll go ahead and uh, check it out. And with a guess and check, we'll put down this one is four and this one is four. All right, we'll cross those out. Now, since one cannot be here because of this one, um, we have to see three things. If one goes here, we would not see it. So one must be here. And so... What is going to be here? Since it can't be 1, it can't be 3, and it can't be 4, it must be 2. So we'll go ahead and put a 2 right here and fill in this column for 1. Alright, and on the right, we're, we have a whole row of numbers. We have 1, 2, 4, 3. And on the column, on the very right, we're missing a 2, so we just put a 2 right here. Alright, and everything should be a lot easier. We know there isn't a 2 on the top left, and so the last number is 3. And the top right is 1, and the top left is 2, and there we go, we're done. So that's kind of how you play towers. I can do another one if you'd like. This one was 4x4, four four, unreasonably difficult, so I can understand if you didn't get it. So 4 sees 3 towers, 4 sees 4 towers, and 3 has to see 3 of them. So 4 cannot block it. Four can't be here either because they would you'd only see this number and the four. And so this number can't be three either because three is too tall. You block out all the numbers. This one can't be four. This is a trick that I taught myself. Whenever you have a two, the second largest number can never be two spaces away, which is three. But we already know that three can't be here. But for example, in the solution, three will never be right here because there's a two right here. So... Four, what, why is it, you ask? Why can't, there we go. Four can't be right here, too. If three was here, then we would have to have a four right here. But wait, you can only see one tower, so four can't be there. How about right here? No, that won't work either. If we have a number right here, two sees too many numbers instead of too few. So three can never be right there. Never, the second largest number can be two away from the two. All right, so... Next, we're going to mark out all the twos, mark out all the ones, mark out the four. All right, there's a lot marked out, Just trying to see if I can gather or conclude anything. All right, so one of these is four. One of these is four and one of these is four. It's likely that this is 4, and this is 4, and this is 4, so we're going to guess and check. Not really. That was a good estimate. Alright, so anything can go here. 1 or 2, 3. Uh, 1 can't go there because it's over here. But 2 or 3, it's it's not going to be a problem. You're always going to see the 4. So the 2 is completely uh, completed. Um, as for the 3... This one has to be 3. We discovered that neither of these could be 3. So there we go. Now this one has to be 1 and this one has to be 2 and 3 is complete. 
So we'll go ahead and mark these columns. This one has to be 2 to complete that sideways. That one has to be 1. This one has to be 3 because it can't be any of those numbers including this 2. So this one has to be 2. And there all the 2's are done. This one's done. Hooray! Thanks for my guesstimating and some uh, thinking through on my part. We were able to get it done quite fascinatingly. Thanks so much for watching. 